there aren't many tools that give you more bang for your buck than a cordless drill. Packing a ton of functionality into a relatively small package, these power tools allow you to easily create holes in wood, metal, or masonry, as well as drive threaded fasteners, like screws, nuts, and bolts. There are many products available to choose cheap cordless drill set, each with different characteristics, benefits, and prices. To help you make an informed decision, I did extensive research, read tons of reviews, and compiled a list of the best cheap cordless drill set from reputable brands. After much research, I found these products much helpful for people like you. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check my description. So without any further delay let's jump into the video. Number 1. Dualt Atoma 20V Max. In addition to the standard screw and drill settings, the Dual 20V Max Hammer Driver Drill has a third option. This hammer drill mode is what makes it such a versatile tool, and is a feature that has saved me on several projects over the years. When the hammer drill setting is engaged, the Dualt hammers as it drills, using a repetitive concussive blow like a jackhammer. Imagine you're hitting the back of the drill with a hammer, like a chisel, as you're drilling. That's the effect the hammer drill setting has, and why it's so beneficial when you're trying to drill into tough material like brick and masonry. Apart from the hammer drill setting, my favorite feature of this drill is its overall size and weight. The dual packs so much power into such a small package. The small size allows it to fit into tight workspaces and toolboxes and bags. The bright LED on the base of the drill is also a nice perk, and comes in handy when working in dark corners, underneath furniture, or behind appliances. It's not the cheapest option, but that is mostly because this kit includes two battery packs. Number 2. Black Plus Decker, 20V Max. The best thing about the Black & Decker 20V Max, apart from its low price, is that it gives you all the fun bells and whistles of a higher-end option. It's not as durable as other drills that cost 3 or 4 times as much, but as long as you're careful with it, and don't need to use it every day, it can tackle a wide variety of tasks that come up around the house. Its 11 position clutch gives you a good range of adjustments. A 650 RPM max speed should be adequate for typical drilling and screwing. It's not as sleek or light as higher end drills, but that's not too much of an issue for small crew projects. Something that I found useful on the Black & Decker 20V Max, was the little bit holder on the bottom of the handle. It's not much, just a little cutout that allows you to clip in a spare bit, but things like that can be a time saver. The chances of damaging your drill are pretty good, no matter how careful you are with it. There is a peace of mind that comes with knowing that you'll only be out $40 if you drop it off a ladder. As someone who likes expensive high-end tools, tossing around a $200 drill is a little nerve-wracking. Number 3. Bosch PS3128 12V Max. Don't be fooled by its small size. When working as a freelance furniture assembler, the Bosch PS3128 12V was my tool of choice, and I was routinely surprised at how much it could handle. Its 20 clutch settings make it versatile enough for a range of jobs, with a low setting of 350 RPM, and a higher option that can go up to 1300 RPM. This low torque capability makes it perfect for working with fiberboard, particle board, or any other delicate material that a more powerful drill would easily damage. The slim battery design of the Bosch PS3128 12V is what makes it one of my favorite tools, giving it a pistol grip style handle that allows it to fit into tight areas. The Bosch PS3128 12V comes with two of these batteries, so you can always have one charging and ready to switch out when you run low. These smaller batteries are also what make the PS3128 such a lightweight option. It came in handy when I would use it for installing high closet doors, a one-handed job that wouldn't have been possible with a heavier clunky drill. Its lack of a bell clip might seem inconvenient, but I prefer not having it for this drill. Since you're more than likely going to be using it on finished materials, having no sharp metal edges around reduces the possibility of accidentally scratching or denting any surfaces. This drill wouldn't be ideal for heavy-duty jobs, but for most basic home repairs and maintenance, I found it to be practically perfect. Number 4. Milwaukee Elect Tool. Impact drivers like the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Surge 18 volt are different from typical drills, and that they are designed primarily for one job. Driving fasteners. This limits the range of jobs they can tackle. But if you need to sink a lot of screws with little effort, an impact driver is superior to almost anything. Impact drivers use a concussive force to drive fasteners, but unlike hammer drills that create downward force, think hitting the back of the drill with a hammer, impact drivers work by applying that force to the spinning motion of the bit. This increases the amount of torque they can create, which is why they're so effective. Impact drivers are also more compact than other drills, and the fuel surge is no different. It can be difficult to distinguish between useful features and buzzwords in the power tool marketplace, but the surge element of the Milwaukee M18 is pretty substantial. Unlike other impact drivers that use a hammer mechanism to generate their torque, the surge design uses a hydraulic pump. That means the surge design produces less torque, but it maintains this torque for a longer length of time. This adds up to a smoother operation, less vibration and noise, and a more comfortable tool to use. 
This particular option is too lonely, which means that it doesn't come with a battery. These options are substantially cheaper but only make sense if you already own a few 18V Milwaukee tools and have a supply of batteries already. If this is your first 18V Milwaukee tool, you'll need to buy a separate battery and charger. Number 5. Makita FD07R112V Max. One of the first things we noticed about the Makita drill was its lightweight compact size, making it well suited for smaller jobs. At just 6.5 inches long and 2.3 pounds, with an ergonomic grip to boot, the drill fits comfortably into tight spots where many others won't. Makita's brushless motor makes the most of the 12 volts of lithium-ion battery power, which is plenty for everyday tasks, such as drilling holes to hang pictures. We started with a fully charged battery and inserted a paddle bit. The drill comes with two power settings, and we selected the lowest to have sufficient torque for drilling through our test wood. We drill dozens of holes and then switch to a hole saw bit. The 12 volt 2 amp hour battery didn't start to show signs of exhaustion for a full 35 minutes of drilling. Keep in mind that we were drilling holes repeatedly, which put more pressure on the drill than is typical for most situations, so battery run times are understandably reduced. We then swapped in a fresh battery and inserted a driver bit. The compact Makita comes with a 20 setting clutch, so we tested the various torque settings to the screws we were using. This little Makita has slightly less power and torque than the 18V and 20V models we tested, yet it was surprisingly powerful for a 12V cordless drill. Though it is not a cheap cordless drill, it delivers decent battery life and superior balance, making it well suited for most DE projects. That's all from my end, I make helpful videos daily, so do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. To get more information or if you want to know product price please check my description. For any kind of problem please comment below to help you further. Life is short so enjoy every bit of your life with our cool products, as it's going to make your life much easier. Thanks for watching, have a great day.